Welcome guys to another Worms Reloaded commentary of Deathwish 808 are taking on a load of crap and we're kicking off today with a pond map and let's see if we can have any unpredictable events like the previous encounter. I'm still quite shocked as to how that last match we commentated on panned out with a load of crap. Um, ultimately committing suicide. I could have sworn the shot was on, but uh, as we clearly found out, it wasn't. And Deathwish is going to get us underway here with a grenade shot next to an explosive barrel. And uh, I think that may, and it does indeed, remove the first worm from the game. And a load of crap is down to three. It's four on three in Deathwish's favour. Let's have a little look as to what is going on around this map as uh, the worms are relatively spread out to on either side to start us off here with a good amount of uh, goodies, explosive barrels and mines and things on each side. So let's see how this pans out. As the action appears to have frozen momentarily, so I do apologise yeah, for this, not really sure what's yeah, going on, if it was a technical yeah. issue on Deathwish's oh. side, but... The action does resume uh, here, luckily, and uh, we haven't seen anybody. So I think we've just missed a load of craps shot. Not really sure what happened there or where oh, he did. Well, he take out a worm. I think he may have done. Well, Looks like uh, we are three on three. So once again, apologies that we uh, weren't able to see a load of craps like opening did. shot there. But we are Die. back now with Deathwish on like the right-hand uh, side of the map here, and. Um, doesn't really have any oh, yeah, easy okay, shots going okay, here uh, without the risk okay. of taking damage like, to himself. The crab has a worm on the left, but is well uh, uh, buried in that uh, area down yeah. there. And Deathwish just may, and, uh, may launch one over, but uh, no, nope, he's going to attempt to uh, shoot behind into the path of the mine. Oh, and the worm is up in the air, and a load of crap and Deathwish actually oh, trade places. A load of crap takes... Uh, Quite a bit of fire damage there and bounces straight off the ledge into the pond. And it is back in Deathwish's favour here. And the Deathwish, uh, his worm is dead also. So uh, she's not back in Deathwish's favour. It is coming thick and fast, this action here, and we are two on two. With a load of crap here with this solitary worm that we've uh, identified before. He might jump rope or he might just try and put something up to open up a bit of a, a gap, but... He does jump rope, and as we've said in the past, protected. it's better to let your opponent yeah, do the hard work. Deathwish 2 here also yeah. has a worm, which is oh, isolated, yeah. but I don't think Deathwish is the type to sort of just sit back and let it come to you. He'd rather bring the worm into play, which he does by opening up yeah, well, the uh, area above him. Little pansy. <laughs> and uh, taking a bit of damage, and that puts a load of crap in the lead temporarily with regards to hit points and health. Uh, you can hit enter. Stupid. Oh crap here, he's going to try and uh, attack uh, the worm on the other side, however. There is a lot of pixels and debris water. just above this worm, so it's going to make this shot extra tricky here. I'm not well, sure he's going to be able to get well, any sort of angle here to benefit. He's going to try a grenade, yeah. but I think it's going to be way too low, which it is. And uh, <laughs> he's going to wait with that worm now for Deathwish to open the area up, which we're probably going to see here. I think he'll try and get a grenade just to the right-hand side, maybe. No, he has switched to the bazooka. I wonder if he would grenade to the right there and see if he gets splat damage to push the worm off into the water, but opting for the bazooka instead. The wind is with him. Does he think he's got enough of an angle, though, to make enough damage? Well, it's a very, very good shot. Straight through the area where it needed to be. And... Uh, Deathwish will get another offensive turn here before a load of crap can retaliate because it's the worm on the left here to play next for a load of crap. As we've sort of identified in the past, it's difficult when you've got a worm like this because you're effectively losing a shot each time your opponent gets two to your one. So let's see what uh, Deathwish can do here. If you can push a load of crap's worm into the drink, then a load of crap is um, in big trouble. You have to think, although well, Deathwish will now have to spend a bit of time oh, to there, uh, dig that three. worm out on the left with a one second timer on the grain. It's up and down, and there we go. It's enough that to worm, push the worm into water. Deathwish there, takes the advantage. Two worms to one. Well, and let's see how quickly now Deathwish can well, get well, to a load of crap's worm here on the left. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, you can keep jumping around. Not really an easy shot for Death Wishes Worm on the left hand side. It's I guess gonna have I to think that the, the majority of the offence here is going to come <laughs> from the right. What he could potentially do though with this worm, is if he can get over to the edge, he can maybe just put a, um, a grenade straight up. And in the hope that it will come down, but yeah, there's not enough wind there to push that one back towards the turf. I wonder if he would go right the way to the edge of that little area there on the right, and just try and float a grenade with a one second timer, just sort of blow away some of that um, opening there to uh, and be able to attack low crap further. But we'll definitely see a lot more opening up here as Deathwish gets to play with this worm on the right. Looks like wind is with him. So we will see a bazooka shot across map. And uh, doesn't quite open the area up, unfortunately, though. So um, a load of crap's worm is still pretty safe for the time being. We don't really have to worry about sudden death or the shot clocks running down or anything like that at the moment because we've still got plenty. We've got 11 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this match. So sudden death is definitely not going to be a factor. And if Deathwish now is going to attempt what I thought he might on the previous shot. Now that the wind is definitely against him. And yeah, here we go. This is what I thought he would do the first time. Just got to be careful to mind that lip. That's a little bit too much, unfortunately. For Deathwish. I think a one second timer may have been better. It would have stopped the grenade from rolling so much. But again, it's all about taking your opportunities and taking your shots and getting a feel for what things do in a map before you actually commit to um, anything solid. As a cross map shot there. And a that's a pretty good uh, shot there from Deathwish. It to managed to inflict damage on the worm, albeit not a massive amount, but it did inflict damage. But a load of crap's worm is still trapped uh, in this area and isn't really able soon, to uh, retaliate yeah, at this time. He <laughs> does see if there was uh, enough room to get out there, but no, there was not. I wonder if he'll just try and put a grenade shot straight up here. Can he get through the gap? Uh, he so he's going to be uh, in the back of his mind, though. It's going to be... Well, I don't think that was really what he intended, but it is uh, open up the air. I, I, you got to think that in the back of his mind, the uh, the previous map that we played is um, trying to go through that shot where you think it's going to go, and it doesn't end up going that way. It's got to be playing on his mind, but it's always going to roll away. Deathwish managed to get the grenade just to sit quite nicely, and it brings a load of crap's worm down into one-hit territory here. <laughs> and for the first time in the match, Load of Crap's Worm now gets to have an offensive turn rather than just using the jump rope and skipping it to the next. See what he can do here. Wind is slightly against him. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, though, at this point. To stick with the bazooka as opposed to a grenade. Just so he's just going to try and tunnel up a little bit more to the uh, left here. No, he's weighing up his options. 15 left on the clock, and he's decided to switch out to a grenade with a two-second timer, I think that was. So ops it to three and uh, ops to throw it. Nicely positioned shot and uh, manages to bring it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. So good effort there from a load of crap. That's now exactly a, what I'm uh, about. an opposing wind here for Deathwish oh, is probably going to be his best option at attacking this worm, you have to think. I would imagine going forward a load of crap if he doesn't get the right wind, he's just going to be maybe tunneling from below. But let's see uh, what he is going to do here. Try and maybe hit it off the ceiling. And, uh, yeah, I yeah I'm, I'm not really sure what he was trying to do there, to be honest. Because he was trying for some mad trickery kind of thing. So wind is with a load of crap here to put a shot directly in the air. It will bring it back towards the left once it goes out to the right. So doesn't want to uh, 
wants, his angle wants to be quite steep though to capitalize and there we go good shot it's a shame he didn't get a little bit more height though on the worm from uh, that shot because there was an opportunity there i think where he would have been able to put Deathwish's worm in the path of that mine and it's a good chunk of hell from Deathwish there so uh, this one certainly is not over just yet Deathwish taking away some of this edge here and uh, he was looking in a commanding position early on but go either way now the, the map has opened up nicely that's the only thing I can do because I don't get the wind a load of crap here with wind again the wind is going to really help him here Still get somewhere. It's going the opposite way. Now, can he get enough of an angle? If he goes high enough, I think he'll have enough time to... Um, he'll have enough time to sort of go a bit more towards Deathwish. Let's see. Can he bring the mine into play as well? Good shot from a load of crap. The mine is out of play now, though. And uh, swings it completely in his yeah, favor deathwish now with 26 hit points to a load of craps 45 the, seen some fantastic yeah. shots so far in this opening and, match uh, uh, once again i don't get deathwish really good. doesn't have a lot of options with this worm here he doesn't really have any area on the uh, above where he can angle it down to he is just going to try another simple up and over and does manage to get 11 damage. Well, Good shot from Deathwish. Well, manages to just slide that worm down. But now you've got to think he has left his worm completely out in the open. And uh, a nicely played grenade shot to the left would definitely wrap this one up for a load of crap. I have to say once again though, as with the previous match, wasn't really expecting uh, this to be the outcome. Deathwish was looking in such a strong position. And, um, oh my god, in a bizarre twist of events, Deathwish knocks a load of crap's worm into the water. Deathwish dies, and it's a draw. I don't think we've ever had a draw in one of these series before. But, uh, yeah, another unexpected outcome right on the final shot of this match. Absolutely crazy. And um, let's see what sort of map we get for match number two to see who can take the very first um win of this series let's see what death wish can pick he's found us another pond map he's gone past it though he's gone past it he missed it does have to flick through quite randomly i know i would normally cut out this uh this process however uh given that we're straight into it i thought i would uh, show it and uh we're inside here then for match number two. But uh, yeah, two matches on the trot now between these two where the outcome has been completely unpredictable. And uh, I wouldn't have called that in a million years. I honestly thought that a load of crap would have opted to go for a grenade and that would have bought him time to make his way to the left while also propelling Deathwish's worm into the water. But uh, yeah, just the, the angle of that bazooka shot just pushed Deathwish's worm into the path of a load of crap and ultimately knocked him into the drink. As soon as I saw Deathwish's worm falling, I thought a load of crap was in trouble because of the death animation, but I would have never have called that... Um, that would have happened oh, pushing mind. his worm <laughs> into the drink as uh, yeah. Deathwish gets underway here with a bazooka shot next to an explosive barrel ball, only able to take eight damage on a load of crap there. Just barely missed those couple of mines on top of the golf boot as well. So it's a bit of an unfortunate shot there from Deathwish as we're now have a load of crap on the left hand side. He is um, able to scale the top of yeah, this nice bottle and will he go high or low i think he's going to go for the one high in the middle here with his bazooka shot can he push the worm back far enough onto the mine maybe is that what he's going for here is he she switches out to a grenade which is uh interesting choice and back to bazooka with only 15 seconds on the shot clock let me very quick here and uh, wasn't able to generate any height on Deathwish's Worm, unfortunately. So the mine didn't come into play and uh, only takes 12 damage in this instance. Back over to Deathwish here and he's going to try and uh, attack these two worms down here. Obviously, he's got to be careful. Uh, there goes the mine. The mine is rattling around, lands next to a load of corrupt worm. And okay, the worm triggers another mine. And is that going to trigger another mine? It does indeed. But I think that's far enough away. 
Was that enough damage, though, to kill the worm? It was not. The worm survives with 17. But, uh, yeah, nice little shot there. Clear use. Good use of all those uh, deadly elements around those worms, indeed. But I also wanted to do damage, and that was... And we are back with a load of crap now. What can he do from here? His um, angles are limited, but he may try and attack the central worm here of Deathwish, if anything. Or is he going to try and open up an area here to the left? That's what he's going to do. He, uh, I think he had an angle there, though, to sort of attack that central worm in the middle. Especially with the wind assistance there, but he opted not to in this case. And we're going to see more of these goodies brought into play here from Deathwish. As he is looking to scale this turf here. Can he bring the explosive barrel into play here for a load of crap? Hello, to my try with the grenade. Oh, yep, that's shocked and amazed. We're going to get the explosion, but I don't think it's going to be close enough to do any well, form of damage in this instance. Way. So just uh, grenade damage in that time around, not quite maximum, but not far off way either. Down. So we may see um, Deathwish losing his Sacrifice. first worm here, potentially. Sacrifice. I have a hunch that uh, a load of crap will be able to uh, I could possibly end up get this worm into the drink. Possibly. You're killing yourself, period, but I could oh, yeah. somehow, That's I could obvious. end up over there on that other side. Oh. He's able to clear the pond. <laughs> And yes, Deathwish's worm is in the drink. A load of crap with some fantastic movement there. Um, not something I would have thought of doing, to be honest, is trying to jump over a pond of water like that, but he's able to take full advantage of it and uh, brings it back to a three on three. Deathwish with a nice grenade shot there. Can he capitalize on the fire? And he gets an extra three and two from fall damage. So still that worm clings on with eight hit points remaining. But uh, that was a good shot from Deathwish. Not really a lot else he could have done from that position. I just want to correct myself, actually. A load of crap still has four worms in play, doesn't he? Yes, he does. So um, he takes the other advantage. It's not three on three at all. Deathwish is the first here to lose a worm. As a load of crap now with retaliation. Going for the central worm. Can't bring it into play. Does trigger the mine, though, on his own worm. And rolls around. It was very lucky there for a moment that it didn't make its way back towards his own worm. But... Takes that uh, element out of play. And uh, can Deathwish take out this mine? Can he get a bazooka shot in the middle of there? He can indeed. That is enough. And drowns the worm. Now we're three on three. And um, things are starting to ramp up. Advantage Deathwish when we look at the health. 280 plays 60, 163. But load of crap has got this worm, which is... Well protected on the left-hand side, just whether or not he can bring it into play enough. You know how He's uh, going to re-attempt a bazooka shot here. I'm, I'm going to... It seems. No, okay. he is switching out to grenade again and opts to go for the worm down below. And grenade shot isn't quite near enough there. Just gets a cheeky two damage there on the worm. But didn't really have the angle just to drop that down. It was always going to sort of roll away from the worm because it's on a downward gradient. But Deathwish is going to look here to bring it down to a three on two. And, uh, well, no, he's not. I thought he would go for the obvious shot. He doesn't. But there is a mine rattling around here. And it just ducks down at the last minute uh, to avoid his worm. Opting not to take the obvious shot there. Which is quite surprising, and uh, in the end, only gets five points of damage on a load of crap. A load of crap has a lot of space here, though. He's um, Let's see if you can do looks like he might be going for a shot to the, the left here, to the central worm. I think you got it. 
Going to rely on the wind power. Just catches the top of that golf boot, though. And unfortunately, isn't able to make its way to the worm. So it's as we were. Just a hair more. Will Deathwish here opt to take out the worm with eight health points? It looks like it. And he's gone too far, though, and actually damages his own worm for ten. So, yeah, I, I really think Deathwish would have, uh, in that previous turn with the, with the now 70 worm in the center there, would have attacked the eight worm for a guaranteed kind of elimination. But uh, it uh, didn't really pan out that way. And I kind of feel like Deathwish has lost out on two shots here. As Oh, crap, with the bazooka, can he knock that worm down and bring that mine at the bottom into play? No. Nope. The worm just sort of buries its head in the sand and is, uh, takes maximum damage. But now uh, I think a grenade shot there to the left of that worm will definitely knock it into the path of the mine. But let's see what happens and unfolds because more than likely we're going to see that worm's position move before a retaliation shot or the next shot it can be played on it. With Deathwish here, doesn't really have any direct shots on worms here so we're going to see a bit of trying to bounce it off the brolly i think nicely done nice judge of power and um timing on the grenade very nice shot indeed they're bouncing it off the brolly and um just about rolls it right up to a load of craps worms now who is uh down on 119 hit points in total Death wish with uh, a commanding advantage in terms of uh, health left on worms, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So the crap now is back with the grenades. Can he do something similar, bouncing off this brolly, attacking the worm below? The angle is definitely that's what he's going for. He's not aiming for the central worm, so. Where is he going to bounce this off? Is two seconds going to be enough? That's uh, what I was just wondering. Change it to five, and we're in the last ten seconds of the shot, and I think that was a bit of a rush shot, but right, what can the mine do here? Will the mine go into its path of the worm? It bounces off the golf ball, the right size, the right side, sorry, but um, just sits itself next to that other mine, and that is uh, starting to look like a very deadly pit there for a death wish is worm if a load of crap can bring those into play but uh, the eight worm has finally been eliminated from the match so it's three on two in death wish's favor and uh, as a bit of an advantage here there is no direct shots at all whereby um that worm will be damaged in any of the upcoming shots a load of crap then is aiming at Deathwish here. He's going to see if he can send that worm flying. If he gets lucky and the worm's trajectory is right, it could actually go between the golf shoe and the brolly and end up in the drink. So it would have to be a pretty lucky shot though. But I'm sure a load of crap is going to just try and tee this up just to behind Deathwish's worm. But almost backfires. A good job that it was only a two second timer, or else he may have put his own worm in a bit of jeopardy there. As Deathwish now with this worm surrounded by these mines, and you have to think that he's sitting pretty safe with this one, taking away some of the extra debris and stuff that a load of crap may be able to use just to drop mine, uh, the grenades, sorry, in the path of that worm. So, some strategic play there from Deathwish, who definitely has the upper hand here. It's, it's a protection load of crap there uh, he's trying to decide what he can do if anything he's going to try and use the brolly this time i think just to, to bounce this one across i mean deathwish worm still is not completely safe that's a nice shot from a load of crap i don't know if it's what he was going for but the bouncing was just was really good and the grenade just sits really nicely on that worm it does however mean that a load of a uh, load of crap uh, has got two worms that can attack this one on the bottom right here That's if it survives another turn though because death wish has got the shot it wasn't uh particularly close but didn't need to be with only 16 damage left and uh 
even better still, he is able to send a load of crab's worm into the pond to the left of it, and it is three on one now in Death Wish's favour. Let's see what a load of crap can do here. By moving that worm, though, in the previous shot, he's definitely made it hard, right? I still think that there was a grenade shot on a few turns ago, but he opted not to go for it. But I think the worm may be a little bit too far away, though. Line of sight would suggest that it possibly is still on. He's opted not to go for that, though. He's coming back to attack this worm of death wishes. And there we go. Brilliant shot. That's what I was talking about and have been talking about for a few shots. And he is able to pull it off. Just when I thought it was probably completely off now. The grenade managing to knock death wishes worm into the path of those two worms. And... Uh, Given well, that, uh, those two yeah. mines, sorry, and the given that there was two there, so the uh, Deathwish uh, Worm did so not stand a chance. And it is back to a two on one, still in Deathwish's favour, and has wind against him. Looks like he's going to try and bring this worm as close as he can. He doesn't want to uh, attempt a grenade shot. Grenade won't do really too much, but a full power shot will be um, more than enough in this instance. Brings his worm down off that uh, roll of turf, which is an interesting play there. Brings it out of uh, any direct lines of sight here, which will make, obviously, a load of craps a follow-up shot uh, particularly tricky. But if he can get a grenade or rocket anywhere near here, it will bring it to a one-on-one, -on -one, and then we're in for some cross-map shenanigans. Let's just see what he can do. Wind is with him, so he doesn't need too much power on this shot, and that will allow it to just go up and come back down again just nicely, hopefully. But let's see. Brilliant shot, and the perfect amount of damage. 31 damage uh, inflicted on that worm with 31 damage, uh, hit points left. Sorry, I'm all over the place with my words at the minute. And a load of crap. Has brought it back to a one on one almost. You know, like the, the previous match, it was looking so much like Death Wish was the commander. And then a load of crap is able to bring it back towards the end here. But now we're going to see some cross map games of chess. It's going to be some grenades ongoing as Death Wish is trying to do it. He's got some interesting geometry there, though, at the top. He's got to be careful of, so he can't go too steep an angle. He's going to have to try and rely on power if he can. Just manages to miss the point. Good shot from Deathwish. Manages to get it to the left-hand side of the worm and take out the bottle and push a load of craps worm down just a little bit. Down to 41 and within one hit kill here. Very good shot though from Deathwish to avoid all those little points and lumps and bumps that are sticking out from the ceiling. No crap is able now no, to go a little bit higher. There is one little pixel in front of him, which I think he has to he needs to be wary of, but he, he's able to find it. That makes an interesting sort of position, doesn't it? Deathwish puts any short shots in there. He's got to be mightily accurate to uh, hit a load of crap on that one. But uh, let's see what uh, a load of crap can do here. Wind is with him. He is opting for a bazooka shot. It appears. Full power. Takes out some of the area below. And um, will definitely make the angles a little bit harder for Deathwish. Assuming that the uh, wind is against him. He's really against him here. So he may opt to go for a bazooka. Or is he opting to stay with the grenade? Now, if he could stick with a grenade and pretty much place it where he did before, I think he would be all right to hit a load of crap on that pixel as he doesn't quite get his angles right there with that bazooka shot, unfortunately. But yeah, a grenade in the same sort of area as the previous shot from Deathwish would definitely um, cause enough uh, splatter damage and radius damage there to uh, knock a load of crap off his perch. Whether or not um, it would be enough damage to actually kill the worm is another question as another fantastic shot there from uh, a load of crap on Deathwish's worm reduces him to 51. Still not quite within one hit range but he is chipping away ever so slightly as Deathwish now has maximum wind for this attack here on a load of crap. He is trying to get as high as he can here. It's all going to be about the angle. The wind will carry it quite so much. And then you've got to think, can he actually get with close enough? The shot is across, but once again, he hits the brolly and isn't able to capitalize. 
from down below, I'm feeling more and more as this one goes on that it is slipping away from Deathwish. But let's see what uh, a load of crap can do here in retaliation. Can he make it a third hit in so many successes shots? He's having to go for a grenade though this time. Two seconds and uh, yeah, that was the difference this time. He didn't have the win with him. Had to switch to the grenade and he doesn't have any background knowledge of the grenade shots or where the grenade would end up. So it was definitely going to be a harder shot for a load of crap. Deathwish on the other hand, um, opting for the grenades here. He's not really had too much luck with the... Um, rockets as that one just again just comes up a little bit short he's, he's catching that brolly and it just flicked up into the air now if a longer time would have been on that then maybe it would have continued to travel across to the left and it would have um, found its way to a load of crap's worm but on this instance that wasn't the case load of crap now back with rockets almost a direct shot and Deathwish is down to 6th health and um, yeah it's massively swung in a load of crap's favour here in the final stages of this match. And you've just got to think it's all because Deathwish just has not been able to get that or find that angle that he needs to attack. He he did initially when he was up top, but since he's been down this uh, lower area, he's just not been able to capitalise as the grenade shot goes across again. He's flicked it up and... Pretty much a carbon copy of the previous shot, unfortunately. Just flicks above the brolly, hits the ceiling. And, um, yeah. So, will a load of crap get the wind here? If the wind is with him, it is not. So, that is going to fare well for Deathwish. We've seen that load of crap is on point with that bazooka, but not so much with the grenade as he adjusts his angle slightly higher to what he did with the bazooka shot and it was a good shot however it just hit the the worm and fell straight down and the timer was too long a one second timer there would not have been long enough so he didn't really have any other options Deathwish altering the angle slightly here goes a little bit higher there we go that's the shot he pulls it out of the bag fantastic from Deathwish. He takes the first win of this series. And um, finally, he is able to get a grenade to the other side of the map and hit a load of crap. Time now for match number three, and we are back with a pond match. And uh, looking at the layout here, a load of crap is occupying more of the right-hand side. Just like those explosive mines are, we have a cluster of three on top of that brolly. So a load of crap to get started here. Uh, wind is against him, so let's see what he does. He'll either put one straight down, which it looks like he's going to do, or he would try one, I think, for bottom left. But the first uh, play is made, and this could cause some big damage here. One of the mines has ended up in the water. Two of the mines, I think, actually have ended up in the water. And he's able to take 63 damage off the first worm of Deathwish, so... A nice start, and that worm now gets to retaliate here. And what will be the play here? Will he go cross map, or will he attack the worms on this side? I think he's going to go for the one on the side where his worm is. As for which one he goes for, though, is anybody's guess. There's no easy shots on straight away, so I'm going to think about what he wants to do here and how he's going to go about it. Going to try and bring the mines into play. Could backfire. One of them's in the water again. Uh, along with one of a load of crap's worms there. So, managed to escape with any, any damage to his own worms there. And uh, he takes the advantage four to three. Now, now I get to die. Load of crap, though, now. Surely is just going to level that straight back off. Kind of careful not to hit that explosive barrel, though, on his way down. Pick which, pick which one you want to kill. I mean, come on. For safety, he's just going to go to the other side of it, which is smart play. Don't want to take any risks that you uh, don't have to. Now, I'm going to opt to go for grenade. If you can get it in that little fire pit just to the right of Deathwish's worm, that will definitely knock him into the water, and it does. 
and brings it back straight back sorry to a three on three with Deathwish to play next easy shot here is going to be towards the barrel and this should send the worm flying into the drink it does indeed and just like that it is back to a three on two Deathwish in favor with a load of craps worm high right here to play next and a uh, big explosion there, just gone off on the right hand side. Not sure if it did any damage to Deathwish's Worm. I'll have to wait and see at the end of this turn. But uh, all of Deathwish's Worms are in exposed positions. Load of Crab has an interestingly placed Worm though on that barrel on the right hand side there, the low right. So watch out for Deathwish trying to. Uh, Make an attack yeah. on that one in the next because shot. I think a load of crab here is going to try and go for the high worm on the left here. But, but worms. You see a full power <laughs> grenade shot across the map. Try and bring some of that fire into play. Oh, yeah, I had a Doesn't quite bad, but, clear the umbrella. So uh, did any damage happen uh, to death which is worm there on the left? Let's see as the worm is in just out of shot. So... We'll have to check next time around. Deathwish now with this worm, though. It's lucky that you're standing and I think this worm is going to go sayonara. Uh, That's why you don't tend to leave your worms on explosive barrels like that. And he's up and he is in the drink. It's three on one in Deathwish's favor. You have to start. You have to understand worms physics. There's confirmation that the worm on the far left didn't actually take any damage from that explosion. So it's uh, all our wor remaining worms are at maximum health at the minute, which is something you don't often see. But I don't think that's going to last for much longer here as a load of crap with the bazooka out. Nice shot. And. Uh, didn't quite make the worm into the water, but the explosion on the barrel and the fire did manage to finish the job off for a load of crap. And we're now down to two on one. Deathwish has got the wind against him here. But he is going to he is gonna use the bazooka, interestingly. He's definitely not going to make his way across the map, so not really sure what he's going for here. It was more a case that he was going to hit his own worm than anything, but uh, gets rid of the mine. For now, and uh, not really sure what he was playing at, unless he's just trying to get rid of some of the lines of attack and potential curves that a load of crap could have used grenades on there to attack that worm on the right hand side of death wishes. But uh, yeah, it's a matter just a matter of a shot or two. We are back with this worm, and he has wind. So let's see if he can guide this bazooka shot uh, just above the opening on that brolly. Nice shot. Only 12 damage, but still was able to find a nice line of sight straight through there. And uh, if the wind is kind to him, he's going to get another attempt to play that shot. Whereas Deathwish here, his worm doesn't really have a, a lot of uh, room to maneuver, so to speak. So he's just going to have to try and attack some of this area below the worm. And just chip away at what is available there left. Leaves his worm in a bit of a precarious position. Although, you got to say a load of crap doesn't have any direct line of sights, but if you get a grenade just to sort of start floating down there and explode mid-air, you could potentially see that um, he could eradicate that worm. So what's he going to opt to do here? Is he going to opt to take out a bit of the brolly, or is he going to opt to go for a grenade shot? I would say the same thing if we traded spots. Undecided as we're halfway through the shot clock here. 20 left on the clock. Wait for it. Shock to the maze. He's very unsure as to what to do here. I don't think he's going to attack the ceiling, is he? No. Okay. So he's going for the grenade shot. We have 10 left on the clock. He's got to really hurry this along. It, uh, takes one bit of damage away from that worm. But yeah, that's the sort of thing I thought he might be going for, where he's just trying to make the grenade explode midair and try and catch that worm or enough of the area that worm is stood on to drop it into the water. Back with Deathwish now, and he's for the first time able to scale up the remnants of this brolly. Wind is with him here. He's got a very good chance here of knocking this worm into the drink. I thought that was a bit of a rush shot, but it wasn't. And uh, a load of crap actually manages to dig his head into the side and stop himself from sliding any further down that right-hand side. 
and uh, luckily for him his worm is able to survive and I think we're going to be shocked and amazed as to what the next shot's going to entail he's just going to turn pull out the bazooka and fire directly at this worm to bring it down to one on one surely no pixels are in his way that I can see anyway so it's a uh, textbook shot here easy stuff and it is one on one he takes his worm higher interestingly something not that I would necessarily do I know it's not the best positions along that left wall anyway but he's definitely taking it higher he's opened up an area for Deathwish to get a grenade into the right hand side and I think if he does that it's definitely going to be game over as the grenade goes over and there we go. He's got to be in the drink, surely. Yep, just slides down into the water. And Deathwish takes the third game. It's now 2-0 in this series in Deathwish's favour as we move on to match number four. Time for match number four then. And we are back to yet another pond with even distribution of worms either side. And I think the goodies are also evenly distributed. A good spread of mines and barrels on each side i don't think this one will last particularly well and his death wish here two getters underway here in the early stages and I'm very surprised he's going to attack towards the left i would attack towards the right in that middle there's a good chance here that he could take out both of a load of craps worms or inflict some serious damage on those two they're clustered quite closely together and with the exposed barrels and mines around you'd have to think that he could cause some big damage but no he uh, instead opts to go for the barrel and there are mines pinging around everywhere and uh, well he's got the worm there is no question about that there was a lot of damage there inflicted like i said though just not sure that would be the one that i would have chosen i think he could have inflicted more damage on two worms had he have chosen to shoot across to the left but let's see how this one pans out now with a load of crap using one of those worms now to attack will he go cross map and attack the barrel or will he go for the one just below to the right hand side i think he's going to go cross map as the wind is with him with a two win in that direction can he catch the barrel it's going to be the big question here as he backs off slightly give himself a bit more cover that's for sure in case of a retaliation shot and uh, actually wasn't able to make any sort of inroads there the shot was just a little bit too high and just went over the top of the worm as death wish now has the option here he could go for the carnage shot or he could go for the one across he goes the one across as he doesn't have to do much to knock that into the water and it's four on two in favor of death wish a load of craps got the uh, worm now on the golf ball to play and we're probably going to see another cross map attempt one worm at a time unless he decides to go for the one directly above he does i don't think the wind is going to carry that though so i'd be very surprised if he does it looks like he's instead he's going to go for the one below gotta be careful though not to bring that mine into play and affect his own worm here so let's see what he does tend to switch for grenade not in the water so it's nice next there we go that's what i was talking about that is exactly what i was talking about it backfired on a load of crap he does remove one of Deathwish's worms from the game but also one of his and he is now down to a three on one and um once again it swings to death wish it's always going to be a risky shot i think he would have he would have done a lot better there with the bazooka as opposed to the grenade the grade just has that ability to kick things up more than the bazooka does and that's what he found that mine kicked up into the air as death wish uh, isn't able to clear that little uh spike that's hanging down from the ceiling but it clicks up that mine and uh was uh, a big sad for a load of crap <laughs> Yeah, as he takes out perfect. his own worm that would have been interesting. let's see what he can do from here then as he is uh, trying to get as high as possible i think he's gonna have to try and go for this worm next to this explosive barrel here and this time doesn't go too high don't think that's going to be enough damage though to send the worm I, just, I don't even think there was any extra damage from the explosive barrel there i think just the sort of like the radius and the impact of that just kind of um made the worm travel that little bit further as uh Deathwish here tries to play a clever shot 
to try and get the uh, rocket to go back in a load of crap's favour. Backfires, but uh, I'm sure he's not going to be too disheartened by that because that worm really was not in a good position given that a load of crap's only remaining worm is directly below it, or was, sorry, directly below it. So I don't think Deathwish is going to be too unhappy with that. Now, a load of crap has an opportunity here to bring it back to a one versus one. You have to think if he does that, um, it's going to be a bit interesting to see what Deathwish can do. He has that worm on the far right as... This load of crap just goes a little bit too short, but this worm, far left, sorry, not right, is um, can't really progress too far over to the right because of that mine. So is uh, kind of restricted as to where he can move, but Deathwish win with him and uh, doesn't have to think too much about what it is he wants to do there. He brings the bazooka out and a good direct shot. A bit of extra damage for the falling, and a load of crap is down to 49. Definitely a load of crap's best option here is to try and take out the 69 unless he feels confident that he could get a grenade or a, a bazooka shot near that mine and bring that into play on the worm far left it is kind of tucked away and isolated here so let's see could try and get some extra high i don't think he's going to make that but i'm no expert when it comes to what you can and can't do with regards to backflipping the height. I'm often amazed at some of the height that uh, these two can get from their backflips. Ops to go for the 69 worm. Brings it within one hit range. And uh, it will be Deathwish next to play with this worm that's in a little bit of a tricky position. It's going to have to be a grenade shot, but there is a bit of an area opened up behind a load of crap where if Deathwish could plinko the shot, it would just drop in behind and potentially send him towards the drink. So, let's see what he can do. I think it's going to come up short, though. It does indeed, and uh, isn't able to get anywhere near the worm. I think he was quite wary of that spike that's hanging down that he caught last time around when he had the grenades out. Can a load of crap bring it to a one-on-one -on -one here before we are done? Let's see. Wind is with him again, so... Might opt for. I uh, should be able to clear the the pixels, but I was just thinking he might opt for a grenade He's shot just shot. to give himself that extra bit of security that he can get the grenade to the left hand Same side of Deathwish's worm easy, easy, easy. and oh, towards the drink. But bounces away, but is able to take away 11 health, so drops the worm down to 14. But it is that worm to play next. Yeah, you're still and uh, Deathwish has the, so. the wind here with him. Yeah, well, I'm almost within one. Direct hit from Deathwish, reducing it to four health only. So it's uh, coming down to the wire here. A shot anywhere in the vicinity for Deathwish will take this um, and make it 3 0 in this series. But let's see what a load of crap can do. Some of those pixels and things have been tidied up. He's opting for the bazooka because the wind is slightly with him. And he goes the shot. Direct hit. Very good indeed from a load of crap. It's 1v1. But with worms at completely opposite ends of the health scale. 100 for Deathwish plays 4 for a load of crap. Deathwish just has to get it anywhere near. And uh, he takes go. this one. So he uh, opts for the bazooka. Like Four wind is with him. Is Everything is, shot. the stars are aligning for him. I, I don't like these Let's see shots. if he can pull off the shot. He actually hits the mine. Well, it's not going to happen this time. He hit the mine. He hit the brolly. Only seven damage, though. It's uh, minimal damage. And that definitely gives him an opportunity now to get that worm into a better position. Doesn't have to worry about uh, the mine anymore. The mine is gone. He's out of play. But uh, same goes for a, a load of crap, though. It's opened up that area. Does he feel confident that he could get a grenade within that area? I don't think he's going to be able to eliminate Deathwish's worm here. But a good chunk of damage could bring it, bring Deathwish's worm just outside of one hit uh, range here. Good shot from a load of crap. 30. Not quite as much damage as he would have wanted. Maybe if he had had an extra second on that timer, it would have settled a bit more and, and, and blown up a bit closer to Deathwish. But good shot there from a load of crap. Good shot indeed. Deathwish, though, with the wind here. 
You've got to assume here he's going to pull out this bazooka, which he does. The wind is with him. It's going to be straight across, not even any thought about it. And boom, he hits a load of crap, eliminating the worm. And he takes tonight's series 3-0 and with that tied match we had at the beginning. Some fantastic matches tonight and some very interesting shots from both of our players here. And... Um, once again, it just goes to show you just cannot call worms. It could go any single way. You just have to go with it and hope for the best. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, hope you've enjoyed these recent series of maps. We'll have more real soon from these two. But until then, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching. And until next time, happy gaming.